on your computer and you're saying who really cares and I'm saying yeah but if you don't continue watching you're never you'll never know if I'm able to talk or not it's like just that whether I talk into a mic 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 we're not talking to a mic doesn't really matter. I'm talking to a mic either way. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, sure that was corny, but hey, I better cut you just a little off guard, didn't it? Well, anyway, I'm an imagination mover. That's that's what I do. That's me, Doctor Dream. And in fact, I'm going to take your imagination right out of your body here. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to put it in a, another person. Yeah, now you're inside another body. And you're walking down the street. And you see a, a little kitten. You go to pick it up. It jumps out of your arms. And you're curious because when it scratches you, why, instead of seeing red marks, you see green ones. This rather concerns you. So you follow this cat because, well, you're, you're a scientist. And it's your job to track down this cat that somehow leaves some sort of green residue on the skin when it scratches someone. So you follow it and it goes through a little door at the bottom of another door. That is an opening to a building that you come across as you run down the alley. So you come to this door, but it's locked. <laughs> so you get out your file, your little mini file, and begin sawing away there. <laughs> Filing away. You don't saw with a file, you file with a file. All file clerks know this. Finally, it opens. And you open the door. You walk in. It's very large, so your footsteps echo. And you see in the middle of the spotlight a little mouse. And the little kitten, it's eating its carcass. This is a little too much. And then this mouse goes after a nut. Well, you'd think, well, what's a little nut? But this nut isn't an ordinary nut. It's actually a human nut, but a miniature human nut. <laughs> as the mouse is devouring him. And 
soon as he's finished devouring him, he's looking at you and you're getting a little strange. You're not sure if you're about to shrink as well and this thing is about to attack you and all of a sudden an owl comes from out of nowhere. Swoops down and grabs the mouse. Flies off into the outer spheres of the darkness before you. And then you hear the sound of popcorn being popped. And you get near this, what you see before you, a huge mountain of popcorn. It's huge. And you see coming towards it a gigantic duck. It's coming towards you. It's about to step on you with one of its webbed feet. You try radioing for help. The Doug, the uh, duck helper uh, squadron here, having trouble finding it on the radio there. You can see it. <laughs> and then you, you see something else coming towards you. A gigantic squirrel. It's coming towards you. There's only one way to get away from it. You pull out the little spinning top that you carry in your right jacket pocket, and you press the button on top of it, and it begins spinning around. You get inside, inside the area that the top covers, and as the giant squirrel is coming at you, you suddenly disappear. <laughs> and that's it, viewer. Until next time, use your imagination. Yeah, you can have it back. Yeah, you always need your imagination. Bye, until next time. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.